Uh, good evening, everybody, and, and while they're still here, um, let me please uh, first welcome everybody to the Oak Bay Municipal Hall located on the traditional territory of the Esquimalt and Songhees nations, uh, and to, uh, uh, to thank very graciously the uh, Lekwungen traditional dancers for their presence this evening. Thank you very much. Good evening. Um, my name is Chris Coates and I'm the Director of Corporate Services and that also makes me the Corporate Officer for the District of Oak Bay. And it's my honour to, uh, to welcome you tonight and to call to order the 2022 inaugural meeting for the Oak Bay Council. Um, so we had, we had the, uh, the procession of the Mayor and Council elect who are standing before you and we're just going to get some chairs in here for them and ask them to, uh, to be seated and then we'll carry on with the, the rest of the evening. So I know uh, we had uh, hoped 
and, and I think the weather was not uh, working in our favor to have a, a, an official greeting from the Songhees Nation, and unfortunately that uh, wasn't able to happen tonight. And anyway, again, we're uh, very privileged to have had uh, the Lakonan traditional dancers here to start the evening off tonight. And thanks again to them. So right now I'd like to introduce um, uh, Her Honour Judge Karina Saka, who will be uh, administering the oath of office to the mayor and councillors elect. Welcome, Judge Saka. Uh, so first is uh, Mayor Elect Kevin Murdoch. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to start with, uh, first of all, we've got an oath of office and an oath of allegiance. So let's start with the oath of office first. Sounds good. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you're going to swear, so I'll have you put your hand on your Bible. I, and I'm going to... I'm going to say the words and I'll have you repeat after me, okay? okay? All right. I, Kevin Alexander Murdoch. I, Kevin Alexander Murdoch. Do swear that. Do swear that. I am qualified to hold the office. I'm qualified to hold the office. Of Mayor for the District of Oak Bay. Of Mayor for the District of Oak Bay. To which I have been appointed. To which I have been appointed. I will abide by all rules. I will abide by all rules. Related to conflicts of interest. Related to conflicts of interest. Under the community charter. Under the community charter. I will carry out my duties with integrity. I will carry out my duties with integrity. I will be accountable. I will be accountable. For the decisions that I make. For the decisions that I make. And the actions that I take. And the actions that I take. In the course of my duties. In the course of my duties. I will be respectful of others. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate. I will demonstrate. Leadership and collaboration. Leadership and collaboration. I will perform the duties of my office. I will perform the duties of my office. In accordance with the law. In accordance with the law. All right. Do you so swear? I do. All right. Do you have a pen? Otherwise, I've got one here. Thank you. If you can sign that. Thank you. Thank you. And then the oath of allegiance, I, Kevin Alexander Murdoch. I, Kevin Alexander Murdoch. Do swear that. Do swear that. I will be faithful. Then I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To His Majesty King Charles. To His Majesty King Charles. Third. King of Canada. The third King of Canada. His heirs. His heirs. And successors. And successors. So help me God. So help me God. I do so swear. I do. The official mayoral pen. Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Uh, next is Councillor-Elect Andrew Appleton. All right, thank you. You ready? I, Andrew Appleton. I, Andrew Appleton. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I am. That I am. Qualified. Qualified. To hold. To hold. The office of councillor. The office of councillor. For the district of Oak Bay. For the district of Oak Bay. To which I. To which I. Have been elected. To which I have been elected. I will abide. I will abide. By all rules. By all rules. Related to conflicts. Related to conflicts. Of interest. Of interest. Under the community charter. Under the community charter. I will carry out my duties. I will carry out my duties. With integrity. With integrity. I will be accountable. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make for the decisions I make and the actions that I take and the actions that I take in the course of my duties in the course of my duties I will be respectful of others I will be respectful of others I will demonstrate leadership I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration and collaboration I will perform the duties I will perform the duties of my office of my office in accordance with the law in accordance with the law okay so do you solemnly declare that to be true I do I need a signature from you here. There you are, Councillor Appleton. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
And next is Councillor-elect Hazel Short Braithwaite. Hazel Short Brathwaite. Hazel Short Brathwaite. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I am qualified. That I am qualified to hold the office. To hold the office of councillor. Of councillor for the district. For the district of Oak, of Bay, Oak Bay. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I will abide by all rules. I will abide by all rules related to conflicts of interest. Related to conflicts of interest under the community charter. Under the community charter. I will carry out my duties. I will carry out my duties with integrity. With integrity. I will be accountable. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make. For the decisions that I make and the actions that I take and the actions that I take in the course of my duties in the course of my duties I will be respectful of others I will be respectful of others I will demonstrate leadership I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration and collaboration I will perform the duties of my office I will perform the duties of my office in accordance with the law in accordance with the law do you affirm that to be correct I do Wonderful, thank you. And now the oath of allegiance. Thank you. I, Hazel Short Braithwaite. I, Hazel Short Braithwaite. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To His Majesty King Charles the Third. To His Majesty King Charles the Third. King of Canada. King of Canada. His heirs and successors. His heirs and successors. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Councillor Elect Corrine Green. Green Green. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I am qualified. That I am qualified to hold the office. To hold the office of councillor. Of councillor for the district of Oak Bay. For the district of Oak Bay. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I will abide by all rules. I will abide by all rules related to conflicts of interest. Related to conflicts of interest under the community charter. Under the community charter. I will carry out my duties. I will carry out my duties with integrity. With integrity. I will be accountable. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make. For the decisions that I make. And the actions that I take. And the actions that I take. In the course of my duties. In the course of my duties. I will be respectful of others. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership. I will demonstrate leadership. And collaboration. And collaboration. I will perform the duties. I will perform the duties. Of my office. Of my office. In accordance with the law. In accordance with the law. Okay. And you so affirm? Thank you. I do. Thank you. Wearing my reading glasses. Thank you. <laughs> Rookie mistake. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> Councillor. Uh, next is Councillor elect Esther Patterson. Patterson, I, Esther Patterson, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm that I am qualified, that I am qualified to hold the office, to hold the office of councillor, of councillor for the district of Oak Bay, for the district of Oak Bay to which I have been elected, to which I have been elected. I will abide by all rules, I will abide by all rules related to conflicts of interest, related to conflict of interest under the community charter, under the community charter. I will carry out my duties. I will carry out my duties with integrity. With integrity. I will be accountable. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make. For the decisions that I make. And the actions that I take. And the actions that I take. In the course of my duties. In the course of my duties. I will be respectful of others. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership. I will demonstrate leadership and accountability and accountability. I will perform the duties. I will perform the duties of my office. Of my office. In accordance with the law. In accordance with the law. Okay. 
Councillor Patterson, do you affirm? I do. Uh, next is Councillor Elect Carolyn Smart. I, Carolyn Smart. I, Caroline Smart. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I. That I. Am qualified to hold the office. Am qualified to hold the office. Of Councillor. Of Councillor. For the District of Oak Bay. For the District of Oak Bay. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I will abide by all rules. I will abide by all rules. Related to conflicts of interest. Related to conflicts of interest. Under the Community Charter. Under the Community Charter. I will carry out my duties. I will carry out my duties. With integrity. With integrity. I will be accountable. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make. For the decisions that I make and the actions that I take. And the actions that I take in the course of my duties. In the course of my duties, I will be respectful of others. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration. And collaboration. I will perform the duties. I will perform the duties of my office. Of my office in accordance with the law. In accordance with the law. Do you affirm for that to be correct? I do. Thank you. And now, uh, Councillor elect Leslie Watson. Leslie Watson. I, Leslie Watson. Do swear. Do swear that I am qualified. That I am qualified to hold the office of councillor. To hold the office of councillor for the district of Oak Bay. For the district of Oak Bay to which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. I will abide by all rules. I will abide by all rules related to conflicts of interest. Related to conflicts of interest under the community charter. Under the community charter. I will carry out my duties. I will carry out my duties with integrity. With integrity. I will be accountable. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make. For the decisions that I make. And the actions that I take. And the actions that I take in the course of my duties. In the course of my duties. I will be respectful of others. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration. And collaboration. I will perform the duties of my office. I will perform the duties of my office in accordance with the law. In accordance with the law. Do you so swear? I do so swear. I'll get you right there. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, your new Oak Bay Council. And I believe this is where I get to take over from uh, Mr. Coates, our Director of Corporate Services. Uh, th thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you. A very short agenda tonight. Um, Start off. Asiam de Chalnacha, Haishkwa Gwansa, Tichul Lakwanen Talith. That was my effort, quite poor in Lakwangan language, to say, my honorable friends, thank you for coming to Lakwangan land, the land of the smoked herring. Those words, a traditional welcome, accompanied the carvings of Charles Eliot or Temosang that uh, exist in the front entrance of the building and can be found in bronze on cairns throughout the district. Traditional welcome. Uh, good evening and welcome to guests, the public, staff, family, and friends. It's great to have you with us, whether in chambers here or via our live stream, at this, the inaugural meeting of the 2022 to 2026 council term. Uh, we've been so honored to have the Lekwungen dancers drum us in to the chambers. 
like to just to take this opportunity to thank the dancers and to their organizers, particularly Lila and Beth Dick, uh, who helped put this together. And in absentia, I'm going to thank Diane Sam as well, uh, who was trying to be here tonight, but uh, I've, unfortunately, we've got a little bit of extra snow tonight. Um, I would also like to thank Justice Karina Saka for administering the oaths of office and to staff for transforming <clears throat> our municipal hall into such a beautiful space for the ceremony and reception. And I've got a little frog. And Chris, do you think I could just get a little glass of water? <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Tonight, it's uh, traditional for mayors to provide an inaugural address at the start of the term. Uh, but we're going to tweak that tradition a little tonight uh, to more accurately reflect our governance model. We have what is commonly called the weak mayor system, which I think I'd prefer to call the strong council system. <laughs> Uh, it is built to ensure that every member's voice is equal at this table. Uh, to that end, and before I continue my inaugural address and to give me a chance to have a drink of water, uh, I've invited our councillors to take a minute or two each and uh, say a few words as well in this chamber tonight. Uh, so we're just going to go in alphabetical order, the same order that we were called up here. Uh, to start with, uh, you're used to being first with the alphabetical order, uh, <laughs> Councillor Andrew Appleton. Thank you very, very much, Your Worship. I'll try to keep it brief. I'd just like to thank everybody for coming tonight. Um, such an auspicious night and such an, uh, doubly auspicious with the presence of the Lekwungen dancers and uh, very honored to be here in, in that context. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to all the citizens of Oak Bay for being engaged in the recent election, uh, for being uh, uh, plugged into that process, uh, for their support of, of me personally. Um, and and just your your engagement and intelligence and your and your interest in the elections is always exceptional and so I, I very very much appreciate the community that we have here. I'd like to thank specifically my family, my two sons Malcolm and Eric, and my wife Jody. And it goes without saying that nothing that I can do is without their support uh, and their their sacrifice. So I very much appreciate that, and I'm glad that they're here with me tonight. Um, this time. I was an incumbent on council last time I was running for the first time and was amazed that folks were putting their faith in me and this time I'm running as an incumbent, which meant that it was very gratifying to hear from people who were uh, satisfied, happy with the job that was being done, were interested in giving us opinions and giving feedback on, on what they had heard and most specifically um, those people who were not satisfied and wanted to see us do things differently or wanted us to see, see us go in a different direction. And the people that I had some of the most constructive conversations with over the course of, of, of the campaign were people who wanted to see us go in a different direction. And so that is the best of our democracy. That is the best of our system. And I'd just like to say, you know, I, I hear you, we hear you, we serve the entirety of the community, and we want people to feel that to continue to engage with us and give us your feedback. That's very, very important. Um, we, we have great momentum building in this community. There's an exceptional momentum. There's lots of energy. The more that I talk to people in the lead up to the election, the more that I felt that. So I was very, very excited. And uh, I'm uh, especially invigorated and, and reinvigorated for a new term. Uh, you expect a lot of us. You expect a lot to happen. You expect to see us make uh, strides and progress. And you are equipped to do that. I am uh, here on this, around this table with exceptional colleagues, supported by extremely professional and capable staff. So I think that the citizens of Oak Bay can have every confidence that this is going in the right direction. This is going to be an outstanding term. And I encourage all of you to continue to show that, that engagement, that interest, to continue to plug into our process and uh, to continue to support us in, in doing your will around this table. Thank you. Look forward to it. Uh, thank you very much, Councillor Appleton. Uh, next up is Councillor Hazel Braithwaite. Um, thanks so much, uh, Mayor Murdoch, for the opportunity to speak. Um, this could be my last inaugural speech, uh, so I'm going to try and fit a lot into a short time. Um, and as my husband often reminds me, the best speeches use the following guideline, be sincere, be clear, be seated. So as you can see, I'm already seated, so that's one down. But, but what I, I do believe that the guideline really means is that um, to be brief, which is sometimes a difficult thing as a politician to adhere to, but I'm going to do my best. Um, so first, to be sincere, I want to thank all of you for being here. Um, it makes this ceremony so much more special uh, with your attendance here tonight, and I truly appreciate it. So please give yourselves a round of applause for being here. 
Um, and second, I'd like to note that our staff, as Andrew has mentioned, um, play a huge part and work so hard on Council's behalf. And sometimes I really feel that they're not commended enough for all that they do. So I want to take this time to thank them for their guidance over the past four years. And I know that they're, they will be here to advise us over the, the coming term. Um, to say we couldn't do our job without them would be a, a total understatement. So, so huge thank you to staff. Um, third, I'd be truly remiss if I did not also say that none of us at this table tonight would be here without our campaign teams. Um, the teams that are made up of friends, neighbors and individuals from many backgrounds and invariably includes family members, husbands, wives, partners and children. Uh, speaking of children, my daughter I believe is phoning or watching from Squamish, so everybody say hi to Lauren. She watched from California last time, it's Squamish this time, so back in Canada, yay. Um, I also want to offer um, a special thanks to the families for their patience and understanding for the time that um, will be taken as the next four years unfold. Uh, there's going to be a lot of time, and um, for a small fee, my husband said he will give you some guidance on that, um, so please talk to him after the ceremony. Um, but for clarity, amongst the other things I want to be clear about is that the people who sit around this table, they they really truly do bring a vast amount of knowledge and experience. Um, for example, the last council that finished their terms with a total of 66 years of elected service. That's a lot, 66 years. That made such a difference in our decision making and in our community. But having new people elected to the council will bring new ideas, viewpoints and knowledge. So I'm truly looking forward to what the next four years will bring. And personally, I'm especially looking forward to enhancing the quality of our life for our residents through the working on our parks and our open spaces, our village areas, and our urban livability. And to conclude, I truly want to thank all of the residents who, through their votes, expressed their support to have me sit at this table once again. I truly appreciate that. In my humble opinion, we have an extraordinary community. And with your help, I look forward to, uh, to the opportunity to make it even better. So thank you so very much. Thank you, Councillor Braithwaite. Councillor Green. Thank you very much for the opportunity, Mayor. And to all of you, first of all, thank you for being here tonight. Um, I would like to also thank my husband, who's in the audience, Fred Green, for his support throughout this campaign, my friends, my family, and all of the people who put their trust in me once again for another four-year term. Uh, this is an earned privilege. I have always believed that. This is never something we take for granted. And I agree with Councillor Braithwaite and Councillor Appleton that this is uh, an, an exciting time, the beginning of every term, looking forward to what we can accomplish and achieve together. I also welcome the two new councillors to our table. They bring incredible skills and experience as well. So this is a, a finely tuned council in my opinion. Um, and I've, I've really enjoyed the last four years, um, with the exception of COVID and the pandemic, that was not enjoyable. It's wonderful, actually, to see people in the chamber again tonight. This is one of the first times we've had um, the public, more than 15, in the chamber, so it's exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to um, fulfilling some of the expectations of the community around housing, around um, environmental protection and climate change, um, related to the village plan, related also to our public spaces, um, our parks, and natural spaces. Um, I heard a lot about that during the campaign, uh, that people were concerned about about the state of the environment locally, and, and that is a, a, a certainly a, a huge priority for me. I would also like to take this time to acknowledge um, what I believe in Oak Bay is a wonderful uh, community that has an army of volunteers and all kinds of people who do so much for all of us. Uh, the small businesses, there are so many people um, hundreds of them that make our quality, quality of life in Oak Bay very special and unique. I'm, I also will continue to work on um, a, a continued culture of acceptance, um, inclusion. I think these are very important for this community. Um, I want to see diversity in the community um, and that we should be a welcoming and a, a community that embraces difference, that embraces um, all generations, that embraces all ages. It's very important that we continue to um, behave in a manner that we, we are all proud of. As you know, at the moment, there are some very difficult issues in, in the larger community in the region uh, related to um, non-acceptance acceptance and non-tolerance. Um, and I think we just have to continue to keep that front and center as we, as we do this work. So again, thank you all for putting your faith in me for another term. I really appreciate it, and um, 
I hope that I will uh, fulfill your trust. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Green. Uh, we have Councillor Patterson. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, good evening. And thank you to everyone in the gallery, both with us here in person and certainly to the multitudes I'm sure viewing from home. <laughs> I want to express my gratitude to my family, friends, and community members for expressing their confidence in having me continue to serve as an elected official. And admiration, too, for the other members of council for accepting the responsibility of serving as a member of council again or for the first time. <laughs> Communities need a diversity of voices at the council table to consider the well-being and interests of the entire community, especially amidst the increasing challenges of economic and climate uncertainty. Over the next four years, this council will shape the unique knowledge and experience of individual members into a collective voice for, at minimum, good governance and, at times, great governance. <laughs> Collectively, we will contribute to the development and evaluation of policies and programs to advance goals set out in our official community plan and to support district staff to ensure sustainable finances and services to meet community needs. Despite diverse backgrounds, we share the common goal of making Oak Bay a better community today, tomorrow, and for future generations. I thank everyone for giving me the opportun uh, opportunity to serve a second term on Oak Bay Council. Thank you, Councillor Patterson. And tonight's going to be the last night I ever refer to the next two councillors as the new councillors because we're all equal in peers here. Um, but just because we are having our kickoff, I have no sort of option but to kind of just refer to it a couple of times. So, uh, after that, we have Councillor Caroline Smart. Or, yes, sorry. Uh, thank you so much, Mayor Murdoch. Um, I want to thank first my uh, extremely supportive family, um, my spectacular friends who became my campaign team and my um, my neighbors and everybody that, that helped out. You worked tirelessly to help me engage with the community the last few months and I'm very, very grateful. I want to thank the voters of Oak Bay uh, for their overwhelming support. I am so honored to have earned your trust uh, to serve the community. And to everyone around this council table, I'm inspired to be working with you all. The next four years, we'll see this engaged community, this amazing staff, and this dedicated council working together towards a more inclusive and climate-ready Oak Bay. With this team, I will lead Oak Bay's commitment to housing diversity, affordable and sustainable building policies, climate-resilient neighbourhoods, active transportation, and the visioning of our vibrant village centres. And together, we will guide the smart and much-needed renewal of our infrastructure, parks, and public spaces. We will address the climate and housing crises and we will move forward with concrete action towards reconciliation in our community. And we will be thoughtful and effective and will speed up the pace of progress. Oak Bay is the most caring, connected and resilient community that I have ever lived in. And I'm honored to work with this council to lead Oak Bay through this exciting time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Councillor Smart. And uh, up next, we have uh, Councillor Leslie Watson. Thank you, Mayor Murdoch. And uh, I would like to, as I am uh, a new councillor, just to take a moment both to introduce myself as a newly elected um, councillor and to say some thanks. So first of all, thank you for coming. I am honoured to serve the residents of Oak Bay as councillor in the community that has been my home for the last 24 years. In addition to my years of involvement in community life, many experiences and opportunities have prepared me to fill, fulfill this role with intellect and integrity. I would really like to acknowledge the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, whose generous scholarship enabled me to attend the University of California, Berkeley to complete a master's in city planning. 
That life-changing education gave me a new way of seeing and understanding cities and how they work, and prepared me for a career in local government in various settings. I could not have run for this office without the support and encouragement of many. Thank you to my dear sister and brother-in-law who launched my campaign with their generous financial support. I also want to thank my talented daughter, Sarah, in Dublin, who designed my campaign materials. And I want to thank my dear husband, Everett, and all my wonderful campaign team, some of whom are here, who together shared my vision with thousands of residents. And of course, my sincere thanks to all the electors who were willing to discuss local issues with me on their front doorsteps and over the phone, thereby deepening my understanding of my community in many important ways. Oak Bay constitutes a beautifully woven fabric of built, natural, and social elements. But like any well-worn garment, it is showing its age. I am here to support the necessary reinvestment and reinvigoration of our community to ensure its resilience and longevity in the face of many changes and challenges. I feel privileged to do so in the company of Mayor Murdoch and my co-councillors and our excellent civil service. Thank you. Well, thank you, Councillor Watson, and for to all the councillors for your uh, thoughtful comments. Uh, interestingly, we don't I didn't, nobody shared them ahead of time, so it was interesting to hear tonight uh, what people brought to the table. And uh, I think you'll hear in my comments uh, a, a weaving of themes that were that were spoken of around this table. Um, you know, I. I, I'm just going to restate, uh, as uh, Mr. Coast did at the beginning of this, obviously having the, very powerful having the Kwangan traditional dancers here to usher us into these chambers and this inaugural meeting. And we just acknowledge that we do our work here in the traditional territories of the Coast and Strait Salish people, specifically the Lekwungen speaking people, uh, known as the Saugies and Esquimalt nations. Uh, but more than just acknowledgement, I know this council intends to build upon previous work to develop strong, meaningful working relationships with our First Nations partners. I'm going to come back to that theme, though, in a minute. Um, first, as this uh, council begins its hard work on behalf of the community, I'd like to just take a moment to recognize the outgoing council and the work completed over the last four years. A lot of work was undertaken to strengthen the financial, governance, and operational foundations of this district, resulting in greater transparency, efficiency, and it's helped make Oak Bay an employer of choice in the region. A lot of this work was completed without public fanfare, but was incredibly important. In addition, both council and staff shoulder the significant challenges posed by the arrival of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm so grateful to everyone who faced the constantly changing health orders with compassion, professionalism, and mutual support, all while continuing the core services that kept our community working and safe. Tonight, I'm gonna to recognize two departing councillors, um, uh, Councillor Terranay and Councillor Eric Zelka. Uh, first up, uh, we have Councillor Eric Wudzelka, who's uh, joining us here in the chamber tonight, so thank you for being here. I just want to thank you for your two terms on count of service on Council, uh, and for all the work that you undertook, both locally and regionally, to make our community better. I'd like to make a special note of your time as liaison to the Oak Bay Emergency Planning, which you took on with tremendous passion, uh, and the Emergency Planning Program, and as a representative on the Regional Water Supply Commission. Uh, helping to bring that agency's 30-year plan to fruition, to, to, to final, um, uh, yeah, final and bringing it forward. I just want to say we wish you every success in your next adventures, and I understand a new job. So thank you very much. <laughs> and thank you for being here tonight as well. It's nice to have you in the, in the room. Uh, next, I just want to acknowledge Councillor Tara Ney. Uh, thank you for your four, year, four terms of service on Council, and for all the work that you've contributed to our community and the region. Like Councillor Zelka, I can't list everything that you've done, but I would like to note your work on the Royal McPherson Theatre Society, where you served the maximum term on that board, uh, serving on the Remembrance Day Committee, on the Arts Alive and other arts areas, and the CRD Intermunicipal Steering Committee, amongst many others. I understand that you are wrapping up your long career at the University of Victoria, and we wish you every joy in your upcoming travel and adventures. You. 
So now we turn our minds to the incoming council and upcoming term. I'd like to thank in advance, uh, as other members of council have, my family and friends, uh, but the family and friends of every council member here and not here for your support of this team. Uh, council work can be very hard at times. It can be emotionally draining, mentally exhausting, and the role demands considerable time. Uh, the support of you, our loved ones, is critical to allow us to function at the highest level over the next four years. I want to say congratulations to the two newest councillors, Councillor Watson and Councillor Smart, and all four returning councillors. You've earned the trust of our residents, and that is a sacred trust. Now we are elected, and as spoken about, we no longer have a subset of constituents. We will, each and every one of us, work to represent the interests of all of Oak Bay, current and future, in our decision making. I'm so heartened by all the energy and positive enthusiasm that I've seen from this council already. Their commitment to be truly great at their jobs puts the community in very good hands. I'm genuinely excited to have the chance to work with all of you in the coming years as we tackle jointly the issues and opportunities that will face us. As we begin this term and we'll be getting down to setting priorities, we recognize that shared focus, partnerships and hard work will all be required to achieve our goals. There's many partnerships that help move our community forward and going through this, I was thinking of the, obviously we have provincial and federal government, school board, University of Victoria, Camosun College, Island Health, the CRD, South Island Prosperity Partnership, our own Business Improvement Association, Tourism, Community Artists, the Library, Volunteer Groups, Community Groups, and so many other uh, re local and regional agencies. But of all the partnerships that will shape the coming four years, I told you I'd come back to this, I anticipate that our work with our First Nations partners will be the most significant. There are many initiatives awaiting this council, including the Spewhung or Turkey Head uh, lease, the Sitchinoth or Willows Beach initiative, we have several naming and recognition frameworks and more, but what we'll have the opportunity to achieve this term is a new relational approach that ensures Oak Bay is a welcoming community for, <coughs> excuse me, is a welcoming community for Indigenous peoples. That the long cultural history of our First Nations is reflected throughout our places, words, and deeds, and that we can work together to see a positive future for all of our respective communities. I'd like to thank the members of the Songhees and Esquimalt Nations ahead of time for their support in this work. Hi, Shka. That goal is also supported by the values that I've heard from all the members of this council. Values such as inclusivity, respect, accountability, integrity, and more. And many of them were touched on here tonight. But I'm, those values drive our, emotion, our environmental, social, and fiscal stewardship going forward and all of our decision making. So I'd like to take a couple of minutes to speak to these values and the importance this term. When we speak of inclusivity, it speaks to the need for everyone, no matter their race, class, age, gender, language, to feel they are welcome in our community. It speaks to zero tolerance of racism or bigotry in our words and our actions and a commitment to call out such behavior. When we speak of respect, we honor the importance of each and every member of our community. Every person, whether a member of the public, an employee of the district, or a member of council, needs to feel that these chambers and the whole community are places where it is safe to share differing opinions, bring forward new ideas, and be truly listened to. In these chambers, it means that we expect all comments to be respectful and focused on the issues, not people. Open and vigorous debate must be held in an environment of safety and respect, which I know this council is deeply committed. When we speak of accountability, it means we must separate the roles of staff and council. We must ensure success measures are consistent and clear. We need to constantly look at the way that we share information, and we must ourselves be examples of that transparency in our behavior. This transparency will be found in our meetings procedures, agendas, annual reports, financial, quarterly reporting, community meetings, and other tools meant to hear from and to inform our public and to be held accountable. And when we speak of integrity, it means holding ourselves and staff and the public discourse to the highest ethical standards. In an era where trust in politicians and governmental agencies seems to be waning, this council has an obligation to conduct ourselves in a way that brings credit to the work. Integrity also speaks to building strong, trusting relationships with our neighbour nations and the need for Council to both acknowledge and boldly address the critical issues of our time. In this term, I expect environmental stewardship, fiscal and asset planning, and housing to be issues this Council must have the integrity to address. 
and there's going to be more as well, I'm sure. Now, the formal values of this council will ultimately be defined by this council, and I know they will do the community proud. The values I've highlighted here tonight are the ones I see as key to earning and keeping the trust of the public, of creating a work environment that attracts the best staff in the province, to enable meaningful relationships with our neighbours and regional partners, and allows us to have the courage and mutual support to address big issues. As we wrap up this portion of the meeting, I want to thank all those who participated in the election process. That's the voters, volunteers, and the candidates, and encourage you to stay engaged in your community to help inform the decisions facing this community and this council in the years ahead. I'd also invite people to work at remaking the links with neighbours and friends that make this community so special. After several years of very limited community events and pandemic-based social isolation, we all need to work at rebuilding these connections. We look forward over the course of this term to support public spaces, community events, volunteerism, and revitalization of our commercial centers to better enable these, these reconnections. We live in an amazing community. Our job is to maintain the excellent quality of life while facilitating growth and change for future generations, and we have a lot of work to do. We're lucky to have the support of excellent staff and very engaged and knowledgeable residents. So thank you all for attending tonight and to all of Oak Bay for giving Council this opportunity to serve. I am thrilled to be working with this Council and the staff and we look forward to getting to work on your behalf. Thank you so much. I got to have the longer speech, that's the deal. Um, thank you so much. We have a very short agenda tonight. The only other item on the agenda is uh, approval of the uh, committee appointments. Um, mm. So I'll just turn to a council. Move approval of the committee appointments. Moved and seconded. Thank you. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Any opposed? None opposed. Uh, now looking for a motion to adjourn. Moved. Second. Seconded. Thank you. Any discussion? This is the end of our first meeting. Look forward. <laughs> They're going to be longer. All those in favor? Any opposed? Not opposed? That concludes. There will be, there's, as you saw coming in, I'm sure, there's cookies and cake and refreshments here for everyone. Uh, please stick around and, uh, and help us celebrate tonight. So have a great evening, everyone.